Yes, we're generally cautious. We don't think that the market is going anywhere in the next month or two. Uh, I think you've got to get through earnings season. First quarter earnings are expected to be relatively weak, year over year down by three and a half, four percent. So, but underlying economic data continues to be fairly strong. So the you know analysts could be wrong here. And if you see a lot of good upside surprises, in spite of what like FedEx did a couple of weeks ago. Um, then you could see another rally, but I think right now it's wait and see, and certainly the bond market is not saying anything positive about equities. Uh, Jeff DeGraff, moments ago, uh, looking at the charts, was talking about the positives for Verizon in this kind of environment. You like it for the fundamentals as well? Yeah, we like it. Look, I mean, if you're going to sit somewhere, there's no reason to sell. T uh, communication services is relatively undervalued. Verizon has a great dividend. So you can earn 4%, which is you know significantly above the 10-year treasury for the rest of the year, uh, with probably you know, very little downside in terms of where markets sit, because right now we're somewhere around fairly valued. So are your other picks as defensive? They're a little bit more defensive, actually. So Costco is a stock that we like very much. Again, it's somewhat of a recession-proof uh, company. It's got great earnings outlook. If things do slow down, that's the type of stock that is going to potentially perform well and has done well in slowing but non-recessionary environments. Uh, so that's done well. And Dollar Tree is almost like the worst case scenario type of pick, uh, that if things really slow down and you know, the pessimists are right, uh, then that's the type of stock that obviously does well because sales increase in those types of uh, markets.